Good evening, good morning or good afternoon folks. I'm at the falconry and uh, sheep display here at Wollacombe. It's just outside Wollacombe. I'll try and give you more details in a bit. Unfortunately, I got here too late to see the old show, which is a good thing really, because if you want to see the whole show, you can just come along yourself. This will give you an idea of what it's like. Uh, I've only made the last half an hour, so I uh, hope you enjoy the clips. Uh, I think it's £7.50 for an adult, I'm not sure, but uh, there is information on the, uh, if you search Google, you'll find it. Um, I'll try and get a clip of the sign with the information. Behind me is the uh, chap with the birds. I didn't actually uh, get him in flight with that bird, but I've got some uh, clips at the end. So we'll catch you in a bit, folks. Enjoy the video. Because you lot have just volunteered. Oh, sorry, have we got another family there as well watching us? Oh, my fault. Come and join us over here as well. Very good. Yeah, sorry about that. There we are. You, you've got quite a tribe there. Are these all yours? Wow, oh, that is amazing. Fantastic. Very good. So if you can come and stand here. That's brilliant. Well done. Now, you lot. I've just gone to be my duck folks. Anyway, you can see the look of delight spread across their faces at this point, can't you? But being a duck post is quite a tricky thing to do. And first of all, in order to qualify, you have to pass a little test. There's a look of trepidation. So in order to be a duck post, first of all. <laughs> Stop! Oh, wait. Stop! 
Alright, stop! Stop there, stop there, stop there. Stop! Come by. Stop, come by. Stop. We've got a bit of a shed there. Run through the middle, stop there. Alright, we don't quite know which way to go. Come by. Stop! Stop! Come by. Bye. Stop! Bye. Stop! Stop! Around the end. How about that? Was that sort of almost like perfect? Then you put out the buckets. Stop there. on here. The water flows into this bucket here, it fills up and up and up and up till it gets to the first level about there where it tips over into here. Okay? And if we've got the ducks around the course and into the pen really, all you've got to do is shut the gate. Okay? Yep. But turn and face before that. And I pour the seat you can sit on while all that's going on. Okay? And your seat goes just yeah. Now look at the look of confidence draining from her face. Now, who saw her put her hand up when I asked for a volunteer whose idea of a perfect evening was to have a bucket of cold pond? Uh, I haven't done much talking because I haven't had my mic plugged in, but it's in now. If you do come to the display, they have got some refreshments on there. I was a bit late getting here, so... Uh, I'm just getting the last bit of the show. Follow me. Yeah, it ran quite well. Can you see it from over there? Yeah, it's running really quite, actually quite faster than I'd anticipated. I wonder whether it's heavy atmosphere is actually affecting the gravity and then the water's running faster. And then the bucket will fill up quicker and tip over sooner. Do you, should we debate that for a few minutes? <laughs> well, actually, we probably ought to, Oh, it is spilling over the top, isn't it, in the wind as well. Are you getting kicked on yet? No, not yet. It'll happen very soon. Right, now, you can cheer on Lily, you can cheer on the ducks. Stop. Stop. You can cheer on Merck. Or you can cheer on the water getting her wet. But we've got to try and get round. There's about that much in your all right, but several minutes yet. Maybe a couple. Stop. All right. Oh, we Stop. It's going to be cold to get wet tonight, isn't it, Lily? Stop. Stop. All right. Stop. 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 We're okay at the moment. We've got to go under the under the bridge. Oh, we stop. Stop, right, we're trying one more time. I'm in a panic now. 
and lethargic. This evening with a bit of wind in their tail, they're quite happy to keep running. Now we're going to bring them down this hedge ride, and you can see this right bar there. We'll finish watching from the back. Yeah, walk from the back. We'll finish watching from the back. Okay, we'll go around the back. Now, when they come through the wall, we've got a set of gates in front of them. Let's see if we can get them all through that set of gates. Might be able to do it, difficult to do it with just one dog, but it's not a huge flock. And Sweet's pretty good at those quick turns he'll need to make, so I'll see if we can do it. Mr. Falcon for your display, folks, but I'll give you the details if you come to Woolacombe, it's worth coming to see. Yeah, I've, he's never gone off and um, just let it get wet. <laughs> <laughs> when they don't fly it, when they get wet, they will just go and sit somewhere and they dry off. They won't hunt in the wild. They won't go in the rain, no, they won't. They're, they're found some shelter somewhere. And um, I remember a show. I let this is the information, folks. Just there. Folks, I'm going to end the video now. I well recommend you come here if you are at Woolacombe. It's a brilliant evening. They're really friendly people that are running it. Unfortunately, Brain Dead Roy. I looked on the internet and uh, I thought it started at 7, but it didn't. It started at six so i missed most of the action but i've got some shots towards the end what i watched was really great so uh, if you are on holiday it's on every uh, wednesday check it out you won't be disappointed anyway don't forget to do the usual like and subscribe thanks for watching and just a quick eye to henry a new subscriber met at the family down in uh, Woolacombe and uh, uh, thanks Henry for subscribing appreciate the support uh, and I've subscribed to your channel as well anyway I'm going to head off now folks so we'll catch you on the next video bye bye folks